Hello, everyone. Okay, so the vote was basically to do 12 Days of Christmas mini vlog situation. So I'm starting that right now. This is actually horrible timing for me to start this. I am leaving work, which can I just say, I had a bomb day. Wait, before I get started and get into it like I always do, let me first get into some good lighting. Hold on, if anyone will let me out. This is how we're supposed to get out the driveway of work. Oh, I might have to back up. This is craziness. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're gonna try the other exit, actually, because I don't have the patience for that today, especially while trying to talk to y'all. It's just not gonna work. Um, but before I get started, hi, everyone. My name is Gaby, and I am doing 12 days of Christmas. Um, I have been largely MIA in the internet world in 2022 and 2023. However, you know what? 12 days of Christmas is a good time as ever to make a reappearance, huh? It's beautiful. I'm actually very excited about this. Um, I have no idea what's coming ahead, but you know what? That's the whole point of a vlog, okay? Y'all getting whatever happens in my day. Starting with, do y'all see these giant deer, reindeer, in my car? I just stuffed my car with these. My boss was getting rid of them, or wanted to get rid of them, and I am always talking about Christmas lights, Christmas decorations, all the things. And she was like, girl, do you want these light up deer that I usually put in my yard? She's like, my kids are grown. I don't have any use for them anymore. So I originally thought that they were like kind of small deer, you know, like the little Walmart ones. You know what I'm saying? That you just kind of stick in a yard. Um, no, these are three gigantic literally gigantic deer um i cut my finger trying to get them in the car because it's all sequins so it's kind of obnoxious um they have been sitting in the conference room one of the conference rooms that doesn't really get used but since last week because i was having a time uh trying to remember to get them in my car and take them home so i remember today so we've got deer um i don't have enough outlets i don't think um outside the front of my house for me to put them up because they all have their own um cords so i think i'm going to try to run by um walmart or something i don't know maybe target but target be waxing for stuff like that but just trying to get like some kind of electrical strip i think like an outdoor one we have a cord, but I don't think it has enough plugs for three plugs. So I'm gonna try to get an extension cord situation and then reroute it. But both the outlets are already being used, so I'm gonna have to also reroute those. How am I gonna do that? I don't know at all how I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna figure it out, because yeah, I have like two um, trees already on the front porch that are both lit. And I have them all on the Alexa um, smart plugs so that I can time them and they come on when the sun goes down and then turn off when the sun comes up. So I do want them lit like that because I'm not going outside to pull a plug every day or remembering to plug them in. Don't nobody got time for that, okay? So I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. That's where we're headed right now. First of all, I think I need some coffee. Not coffee, I don't really drink coffee anymore. I don't know if I ever did on this channel. I think once or twice I made some coffee for y'all. I have a whole Keurig. I've had one for years. It hasn't been used in probably a year since I moved in. All the coffee pods and stuff that I bought, I don't use because coffee be tearing me up, y'all. It tears my stomach down, back, ripped to shreds. And I was like, why? Like, how many more times do we need to do the experiment before we believe the results? Okay, the experiment was I keep trying to drink this coffee and every time I get sick. So why am I drinking the coffee? The taste was starting to feel weird. It just was weird. And this has been months. So I've been off of that. I went heavy, heavy, heavy on a matcha wave, which still has caffeine. So like the jittery effects of the caffeine, I still kind of experience, but just not really as bad with matcha unless I uh, drink it on an empty stomach, which I try not to do. So, um, 
yeah, so I was on a matcha wave super hard, still am, but then I discovered chai um, in the fall season um, with like Starbucks pumpkin chai latte, and then they had this gingerbread um, oat milk chai latte with, ooh, the sun, um, with the holiday season, so I've been heavy on those. So by coffee, I meant a celebratory chai because y'all today was amazing like I really have to stop and give myself some props and thankfully I had a few opportunities to do that today because man like I told you all um, in the video I posted earlier this week that I did have that huge roll shift and it was terrifying literally this time last year I was coming to terms with the idea that like my role was gonna shift in a major way I didn't necessarily trust myself or believe I could do it I mean, I believed I could do it, but it just was very intimidating. And to see, like, the progress that this team has made, the things that we're doing, like, and that is not all props to me. I have a dynamic team that is just the bomb, and you can give them a vision, and they just can do it, which is just, so I was hyping them up as well, but, um, yeah, I just had to celebrate the fact that, like, we really had a, where is this coming from? All I heard was a siren. I think it's somewhere else. Um, but I really had to celebrate. Like, we set a pretty big goal for before holiday break. And this is our last meeting before holiday break. And y'all, the goal was met. And I mean, fully. So, we put on a spring conference every year. And we had the entire conference. I mean, like, down to the, we just are doing, like, details and updated logistics when we come back. And it's not until April. And I was like, y'all, we can do it. And honestly, at first they looked at me like, sis, what are you talking about? But we did it! And like that among many other goals that like we've met and have really just done a lot of dynamic work. I just am like, wow. And as much as I give myself props, or don't, but in this moment, as much as I'm giving myself props, I also have to shout out my Jesus, my Lord, because the grace and favor abounds. The grace and the favor go crazy, dumb, lupid, stupid. It's just, wow. I am so grateful. Like there's so many things that have happened that I'm like, oh, I know that was the Lord. What? Like, yes, y'all can give me props. Y'all can tell me to add it to my CV. But I'm telling you, the way this opportunity came together, the way this person called, the way this gap was filled, I'm sorry. It was the Lord. It was the Lord. So I give him full props and just thankfulness that you know he's faithful that he doesn't leave us hanging that when an opportunity comes across our desk um it's not just a coincidence it's him pushing us to the next level and if it's him pushing that no that helps us to know that we can do it and i did it y'all we did it so i am hyping myself up today so i'm doing a little celebratory chai um, I will say if there was a local coffee shop with a drive through by here, I would not be going to Starbucks because I do understand the controversy around Starbucks. What I'm telling y'all right now is I'm getting a Starbucks, okay? And if y'all have to judge me for that, um, that's okay. But today I'm celebrating me and nothing is standing in the way of that because this has been a year, baby. This has been a year and I am just very proud of where I currently stand, so. Yes, all that to say, that was quite an intro, but all that to say, I'm in line. I'm gonna get that a chai, probably get a little um, cheese Danish. Shout out to my friend Bianca, who got me hooked on those like a year ago. And I'm t if these pastries weren't like a ridiculous cost that they don't cost, they, they shouldn't cost. Um, I think it's like three dollars and ninety-five cents or something like that for a Danish that is gone in four bites. If it wasn't so expensive, I would get two. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get one because I surely have fallen off my nutrition and health goals. Let's talk about that. But I almost feel like we should talk about it after I get my chai and my pastry because I need to focus so I don't smash into the car ahead of me. Hi. Hi. 
Uh, no, thank you. All right, we'll have it out in just a moment. No problem. Here's the drink for you. Just thank comment you. on the Danish. Okay. I have a drink for you. The Danish thank for you. Thank you. Okay, I had to pull over because, mainly because I need to find links to what I need um, at the store before I go so I can make sure I'm not wasting my time. There's a Target right across the street, so part of me is like, do I just go to Target? Since it's right there and hope they have what I need. I don't know, but here's the cheese Danish. They kind of overcooked it. Like I've never had one this brown, but baby. When I tell you, I don't know what it is about this cream cheese on this pastry. Mmm. This is my victory. Watch it up. So let's talk about my health journey while I'm stuffing my face with bread and cream cheese. You can probably guess it, and I won't be offended if you do guess it. I am currently at my heaviest weight that I have ever been at. Ever. And I think, as you can imagine, it has a lot to do with me just being very bad at transitions. Like I almost think, as much as I love counseling, part of me feels like I need a transitions counselor. Like, or a therapist. Somebody who is like really well trained in understanding transitions and like managing coping habits. Like I need to relearn how to do it because self care is out the window. Just care for myself in general is out the window. And I'm just kind of like getting through. And I remember reframing like how I think about um, just health and wellness in general by, I think it was somebody online, but was just talking about like our bodies do what they can to get through. And like we have to give credit for that. Like we can't be mad that we're not always eating the perfect diet and always at the perfect weight, always managing. Like obviously discipline helps in these moments, but like your body did what it was supposed to do. Yes, did it gain weight? Yes, did it, you know, adapt in other ways? Yes, but it did It did what it needed to do to get through with what, with what we were giving it. And so that's the credit I would give to my body. I'm not going to bait my body for the fact that I've gained weight. It is a little frustrating that, like, some of the stuff that I bought when I was, like, at my snatch weight, like, around wedding time and a couple months before that when I was just snatched it was like a good six months six seven months where i was just snatched and some of those clothes i literally can't fit right now which is unbelievable but when i gain weight i gain weight in my lower half before anything and all of my lower half is large okay all that to say i'm not really shaming myself around it I mean, I do recognize that I'm at the point where I need to, like, do something different. Like, since we're no longer in survival mode, okay? Like, I, I feel like it at times, but at a certain point, I have to set new habits and discipline standards for myself. So, babe and I bought um, gym memberships. Um, so, we're really excited about that. We've already been to the gym. Spent three hours there. <laughs> So we're trying to get more on the schedule. The gym has classes and just all different perks that we get to take advantage of. Swimming, basketball court, like all the all things. So um, trying to get more, more routine with putting that on my schedule. I do still go to boot camp. I'm not in personal training anymore, but I do go to boot camp um, every once in a while. I'm trying to get more regular with that as well. Hold on, my husband's calling me. That's definitely a nugget. Mm. That's a nugget. For a cookie, what is it? Pastry? Cheese Danish. Oh, cheese Danish. I treated myself. I killed it today. You just did that because you knew I was recording. You big butt. Oh, oh, you, oh, you can hear it. Yeah. Oh. So tell, tell the YouTube people that beep, beep, beep. And then after that, beep, 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 so beep, 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 beep. Okay, I had to cut it because my husband was talking forever. <laughs> Love you, babe. But yes, okay, well, as I talk about how I gained all this weight and now I'm trying to be disciplined, I do go to boot camp every once in a while. 
Um, AP, if you're watching this, I am coming back to boot camp, okay? Um, so yeah, I enjoy boot camp. Um, trying to get into some of these classes, putting the exercise classes on my schedule, and just really making it a part of my day. Um, I told y'all I'm in counseling. We also are starting this week marriage counseling. I cannot wait to update you guys on how that goes. Um, and it's just so interesting, like around 30. Shout out to the people who figured this out sooner. But I'm watching us really start to prioritize with our finances. Hello, because this stuff costs money. But also just with our time, um, our health, and self-care, and mental health, and physical health. And it's really cool. Like, I'm recognizing just how important that is. I mean, I've always known, but it really is so important oh oh my gosh see this is why i have to talk to y'all more often i had a huge fear of doctors for years ever since i was a kid i had this weird experience with the doctor and after that it was just ruined for me so i was only going to the doctor when i really had to and obviously in college like you know it's this awkward phase of like do i have a pcp i don't know it's the person back home you're on your parents insurance like then i was on school insurance for after that in grad school when i couldn't be on my parents insurance anymore and it's just like this whole thing so unless the school was requiring me to get a shot like you know up my tetanus or something like that believe me i was not at the doctor and that i would not encourage that i don't promote that i know that was bad but i was not at the doctor regular checkups where thank the lord that he was covering my health because that was basically you know i was out here on a wing and a prayer because i was just not prioritizing going to the doctor even just for wellness checks and so I've been doing all of that. I have a PCP, I have an OBGYN. Um, dentist, I was always regular with the dentist just cause I don't wanna be out here with, you know, teeth falling out. So I've always had a dentist, but I really love my dentist. Um, and what else have I done? I visited a neurologist about my headaches and have been put on some vitamins and supplements for that and have a plan for that. I may start physical therapy to help with my neck pain. Um, what else am I doing? There was something else. Oh, I had to see a dermatologist because I had a weird <laughs> rash pop up, which is such a, I'm almost 30 thing to say. I'm trying to move into thriving, okay? I'm trying to move into what do we need to do different um, to just transition into this next season of myself so that I can thrive, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I wanna be, I wanna enjoy this next season. I wanna figure out who this version of Gaby is and um, take care of her. Cause that, that's the real thing, is I've just been dogging my poor body for such a long time. <laughs> and I want my body to still love me, you know, and still hold me up after all this time. So I'm excited. We're prioritizing our health in new and fun ways. And yeah, it's exciting. So that's my update on my wellness journey. But anyways, I'll check in with y'all at Walmart. All right, y'all. I made it to Walmart, and I'm actually thoroughly dreading um, recording in here. A little hack is, I think the reason most people stare at people with a camera is when we have, like, the flip-up uh, viewfinder little screen that pops up because then that makes it really obvious. But I'm holding my wallet behind the camera. Okay, I'm back. I only have 20 minutes of footage. I had to delete a clip so that I could have more space on here. I didn't realize my memory card was about to be full. So, I was saying though, I'm holding my wallet behind the camera so it kind of hides the viewfinder. It's working out clutch. Um, so I'm currently in the Tupperware bins aisle. And I think I need like about this size. dark right now <laughs> i just made it home and um i feel like uh i was gonna say cindy luhu i don't mean that i mean martha no not martha may well martha may counts what's cindy's mom's name why can't i think of her mom's name dang okay well i feel like cindy luhu mama 
with all these cords that I bought from Walmart. Um, I did find what I needed. So I got this extension cord that's got the three prongs. So I'm hoping that the cords on the deer are long enough to all reach the same spot. Um, I'm gonna try to stack them in a way where that like works out. And then I have this extension cord that I think will let me fix the outlets that are on the porch so that I'm putting the trees on one outlet basically and the deer on the other outlet. Using extension cords, which is why I feel like Cindy Lou Mama because I'm like, man, I hope I don't blow the house up <laughs> with all these cords connected to cords. Um, but I'm hoping for the best. Unfortunately, it is dark outside because y'all know it gets dark at freaking 3 p.m. So it's 5.45 right now and it's already dark outside. But I do need to put these deer out because I have to go back to work tomorrow and like in person. And these deer are taking up my entire car. I also need to clean out my car because there's sequins and glitter now everywhere because of these. Um, and so the only option is for me to put them up because I'm not taking them inside the house and like what, storing them in the basement and then I'll never get around to even putting them out. I just don't have time for that. I'm just taking them straight from the car, putting them in the yard. Hopefully it's not too hard. It looks pretty easy on how to like connect them and stuff. I don't know. Y'all say a prayer for me. My husband's going to be so upset that I'm out here in the dark and he's not home. But I'm just going to do it real quick. Get it over with. Love you, babe. Sorry. So, my husband completely vetoed me being outside in the dark. Actually, it got very dark very fast. And I vetoed it myself as well. And was just like, I'll just wait till he comes home. So, uh, I brought everything else in. And then uh, I realized I only have 14 minutes left of footage before this memory card is full again. And I don't feel like going and digging out another memory card. Also, I want to edit this and get it up, I think, tonight. Woo! It is currently 7 o'clock, so let's see if it's possible. But before I go, I figured I will give you all a house tour. Because I want you all to see the Christmas decorations um, and everything. I feel like it's a great, you know, little kickoff to 12 Days of Christmas. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this because the house is not technically as clean as I would like it for to be for a moment like this but nonetheless um okay so first and foremost um i don't know if i showed you guys this on the vlog yet but we diy this with my friend bianca it's a statement piece in our house it's a gorgeous wall and i'm just very much obsessed with it so it used to just be a white plain wall and we painted did the woodwork on it and it's just amazing, especially in the holidays. It just adds an extra special touch. Then we have, this is the dining table that I bought. It was just, it was real wood, very pretty, but uh, we sanded it down and uh, spray painted it black. The chairs were donated by my friend Bianca and, well, she did the four and then her mom did the two on the ends. They just have stuff like this laying around their house, like what? So, um, I did the table setting, it's really cute, but right now the plates and stuff aren't on it because well, we washed them from Friendsgiving. Uh, we hosted Friendsgiving two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and we washed the plates and just ended, <laughs> ended up putting them back in the cabinet, so I need to pull them back out and set the table, but it's so cute. I'll zoom in. I had this garland, this is faux garland, and then I stuck in a dried, um, plants is that what you dried flowers and stuff i don't even know what type they are they're dried and then i think i think these are fake or maybe they're also dried i don't know but i bought it it was a um cluster and i just kind of separated them and stuck it in the garland to make it a little more of a pizzazz um really love that i got these candle holder set from amazon if i remember i'll put the link in there for you guys and then i got the candles from hobby lobby also if you didn't know if your candles don't fit in your candle uh holders there's these little squishy pads that you can buy i got a pack of like 10 or more something like that from hobby lobby so you just put the little foam circle down in there first and then squish the candle into it and it's perfect um I had to do a little adjusting, but it helps so that your candles aren't just falling all over the place. I got these from Hobby Lobby um, for fall, actually, and I've just used them and repurposed them for um, Christmas. So it worked out. I got this from Amazon, I think, for fall as well and repurposed for Christmas. So 
I'll put a picture of what it looks like for um, Friendsgiving, but it was super cute in here. This tree we've had up for a while and um, actually since I moved in. This was one of my housewarming gifts, but I just added a strand of lights to it because, you know, I didn't want to move it for the holidays. Some people do that and like replace it with a Christmas tree. I'm not doing all that, at least not right now. So I just added lights to make it more festive. Here's this side and the dining room. I have garland up across the top of the, um, uh, what? Curtain holder. <laughs> Curtain rod, that is. Um, I also don't think I showed you guys, but don't mind the mess, okay? Uh, I got these chairs from Amazon, these bar stools. Um, sold the other ones that I had and got these, and I love these. They're like a faux leather, um, but they're just super cute, and they match the vibe. Um, we got a little decor here on the counter, and then a little more here. This is where I kind of put, you know, our extra, extra typical Christmassy stuff. Um, I got these from Target. As far as I know, they're sold out at least of the Christmas tree. My friend has been trying to get one for a while and hasn't been able to, so I don't know if you'll be able to find these still, but they were $5. Super cute. Um, do I have anything else? Oh! have my little uh, wreath here in an apron. I actually haven't been wearing the apron <laughs> when I've been baking, but aesthetically it, it fits, so we love that. And then I have this basket, I had it out for fall and had like some different fall stuff in here. And then for winter, I just took some um, potpourri, um, a pack that I had that's like Christmassy potpourri. So it smells good, but it also looks Christmassy. And these books I always have up here, these recipe books of Magnolia. She has a new one, I need to get it. Okay, then we have this Christmas tree, the main one that I've had for a couple years now. Um, so I did more of like a brown theme this year. Got some presents already wrapped. Are y'all seeing me? I'm killing it. I'm so happy and proud of myself that I've already wrapped gifts under here. We have this. Um, I tied the brown in here. This is from Marshalls, I think. It was like $9. Then I had this stuff already except for the candle. This is also from Marshalls. I just love the glass aesthetic. I think it adds something special to the decor even though I have wax <laughs> all up under it. And this is potpourri as well. I just repurposed old bulbs and things that I already had. I just got the ribbon. It's like a satin brown ribbon. And just tied that on there to add some pizzazz this year. More of a brown tone. Got more garland up there. This is like a black. It's very light. I know it looks like heavy glass or something like that. But it's from Target. This um, large candle with a bunch of wicks is from Marshalls. I've been burning the mess out of it, which is why it looks like that. But it's got this texture on the top and on the sides. It's really pretty. So I added that up here. And then Target also had this little garland little thing that I just thought was super cute. So, and then we have uh, this garland I got off an inf influencer. Um, well, I got the link to it off of an influencer. It's super pretty. It's pre-lit. It's so full and luscious. So I really love that. We have our stockings, which are both from Target. And then these little name things I got from Etsy Custom. They're super cute. This is a Christmas tree in my office. Um, also, I added wreaths to the door this year. And they do light up. There we go. So y'all can see the full effect. Ah. There we go. So I did that myself. I got these wreaths. They were naked, <laughs> naked bare, um, from Target. And then they just had like light packs, battery powered light packs. So I intertwined that. And then this bell, I just hung from the command uh, hook. But they had these as well at Target. I got all of this stuff in like November, so I have no idea if it's still in stock at Target, but yeah. So this is the office. I do have that stuff I showed you all in the office. I don't know if I like this situation. I thought it was giving snow for a minute, but I don't know. I just didn't have anything to do with this, so I put it up here. But I love this little setup here. It's cute. I thought about rearranging it and making it a little more cohesive, but that's what we have for now. And then... Y'all know Mr. Walter Petey Buttons and 
my little Christmas tree and candle there. So that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I feel like my goal was to make this a lot of a shorter vlog and it's not. So let's see if I get it up tonight. Um, my future 12 days of Christmas videos will probably be a little bit shorter because I will not be able to sustain <laughs> editing this long of a vlog every day. But hopefully something in here was entertaining and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.